Hello, this is Angelia with today's Bible reading. Today's reading comes from Ephesians 4, Unity of the Spirit. Therefore I, the prisoner of the Lord, implore you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling with which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness and patience, showing tolerance for one another in love being diligent to preserve the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Um, so, you know, Paul was a prisoner uh, for his beliefs. Um, and he wants us to walk in a manner worthy of the calling. Um, and, you know, I've touched on that before about people who walk in a way that's very worldly. Then they go to church on Sunday or they go to confession uh, on Wednesday. Um, and uh, think they're absolved of all that, and I think they're probably going to get a surprise when they come before the throne. <laughs> you know, that's just my opinion. I don't know that. That's just what I think. That's my opinion. And uh, you're supposed to have humility and gentleness. You know, and there are a lot of people who uh, I'm just there's like a hair hanging over here, making sure it's hair and not something alive. <laughs> um that aren't very humble they toot their own horn a lot about how great they are um and they don't use gentleness um the saying is you know you draw more flies with honey than with vinegar <laughs> um patience a lot of people do not practice patience i mean patience uh, is a virtue and there's a reason why that's said because with patience you can bear a lot you can take a lot um, and you don't necessarily feel like you have to uh, dish it out to other people who are serving it to you, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Showing tolerance for one another in love. Um, and sometimes it's hard to tolerate some people, you know, um, but that's the loving thing to do. That's what Jesus would do. Being diligent to preserve the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Um, and that's the goal there, to keep the peace. You know, um, Jesus knew it would be hard. That's why he kind of laid out for us what we were supposed to be doing. And sometimes it is hard. Um, and you can keep the peace with someone and not, you know, allow them to use and abuse you. So, you know, there, there's a line there. You don't have to be a martyr. There is one body and one spirit, just as also you were called in one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. One God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. And that's the truth right there. Um, uh, I believe it was Gandhi that said, God has a thousand names and a thousand faces, but he's still one God. So, you know, he's our Father, all of us. But to each one of us, grace was given according to the measure of Christ's gift. Um, and... That's why we're doing anything in life. It's because God gave us the grace uh, through Jesus Christ. Because none of us would ever be able to earn that on our own. <laughs> it was a gift that Jesus gave us. Therefore, it says, When he ascended on high, he led captive a, a host of captives, and he gave gifts to men. So... When Jesus died on the cross, he set us free of our sin because only he could do it. Now this expression, he ascended, what does it mean except that he also had descended into the lower parts of the earth? And some people believe that he descended into hell, took the keys, you know, from hell, you know, kicked the devil's booty. Um, again, I don't know, I wasn't there, so... He who descended in himself, also he who ascended far above all the heavens, so that he might fill all things. And he gave some as apostles, and some as prophets, and some as evangelists, and some as pastors and teachers, for the equipping of the saints for the work of service to the building up of the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God 
to a mature man or woman to the measure of the stature which belongs to the fullness of Christ. Um, and, you know, um, I've had other people call me a prophet because I have dreams that come true sometimes, but I would never call myself that. Um, I consider myself, you know, a minister, a teacher, um, and that's it. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> but our goal is to mature in Christ. Because if you stay the same as you always were, <laughs> then what has changed? <laughs> what has salvation done for you? <laughs> as a result, we are no longer to be children. Tossed here and there by waves and carried about by every wind of doctrine, by the trickery of men or women, by craftiness and deceitful scheming, but speaking the truth in love, we are to grow up in all aspects into him who is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body, being fitted and held together by what every joint supplies, according to the proper working of each individual part, causes the growth of the body for the building up of itself in love. Um, so we're to learn, you know, and not be like little kids, and impulsive, tossed to and fro by, you know, he says the winds and the waves. Um, and again, um, not to listen to every doctrine. Um, I was involved with a couple of places where there were other doctrines being taught and went to events where there were other people pushing other doctrines. Um, and I looked over what they had and said, that's not for me, you know, because it doesn't hold to God and it doesn't, you know, teach that Jesus is the way um, or it doesn't allow that you can do that. It has another thing going on. So, you know, if, if it has another thing going on, I mean, I feel okay with studying Buddhism for simple fact. In its essence, Buddhism, Buddhism is not a religion. In the beginning, the Prince Siddhartha Gautama, um, it was an attainment. To attain enlightenment. So it's actually a very good mental health tool. Um, but now, the as the Indians of India will tell you, other Asian countries have taken Buddha and, uh, this is a quote I heard from an Indian person, uh, bastardized <laughs> Buddhism to where they do pray to Buddhas. So, you know, there's, there's a difference between these two if you didn't know that. Um... <coughs> And, of course, the yogis, you know, of India teach about um, how to take care of your body and things like that. So, it's also not contradictory, you know, to being a Christian. Um, and also, you know, uh, Islam, the Muslim people have very deep devotion to God. Now, they have their prophet, um, and most of them don't know Jesus. But, you know, that's something that some of us are trying to get, you know, in there. Um, is that we can listen and talk to each other, and maybe that opens the opportunity for them to know Jesus. <coughs> Excuse me. Still having allergies here. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, by the trickery of men, and there are people out there who are trying to trick you. You know, if you think you go on your social media and you just won all this stuff, all you got to do is give them your banking information, you're in big trouble. <laughs> because that's a trick, in case you didn't know. <clears throat> uh, by craftiness and deceitful scheming and there are people who are scammers I mean they'll call your house get you on you know the uh, computer um, they used to come to your house and, and sometimes they still do prey on older people um, and try to get them to pay for things and then they don't do the things so you know you gotta you gotta gotta be smart you know as uh, Jesus said be um, well actually I think it might have been before him may have been Solomon but I think Jesus said it too. Um, be as wise as serpents, but gentle as doves. So you got to be a little smarter than the people who are trying to trick you. <clears throat> and speak the truth in love. You can tell someone the truth, and sometimes the truth hurts. But if you do it in a loving way, they understand that you're trying to do this for their good. You know? If you're coming at somebody all hateful and mean and stuff, then that's probably the... A reaction you're going to get back from them. 
And again, Jesus is the head of our church. If you're a Christian, Jesus is the head. And, uh, you know, God made us to uh, worship him and Jesus. And uh, our job is to grow up in our Christianity and spread love throughout the world. And uh, that's what Paul was talking about by unity of the spirit. We all should unite and come together as spiritual beings. Um, and if we did this, the world would be a much better place. Amen. That's all for now.